Last time, we came to understand that when we're talking about logic, what we're really talking about and what we're really concerned about is the connection between the premises and the conclusion. And when we're talking about logic proper, that is, in, in terms of what we're doing in logic, we're learning how to analyze arguments. And logic is an important part of that. But logic proper is really about the connection between premises and conclusions. And we saw how to prove, and when we said well, there's a logically strong connection, that is a what we call a valid form of inference or a valid argument. Now, I want to spend some time on what we're going to call predicate logic, a certain class of arguments, a certain kind of inference. And the way I want to get to us to understand about this is by looking at a few examples. I mean, the first one is the one we've been talking about. Socrates a man, all men are mortal, therefore Socrates is mortal. Second example, we've seen this one before, all communists admire Marx, Ronald Reagan did not admire Marx, therefore Ronald Reagan was not a communist. And the third one, since all dogs are mammals and all mammals are warm-blooded, all dogs are warm-blooded. And notice that validity is determined by logical form. Remember that is here we're not looking at the same logical form between all three of them but I think they all represent patterns, valid patterns of argument good patterns of argument, good logical form, and they all have something in common, and that is that the, what determines this is what, we, what we determines that these are valid inferences, these are good inferences, these are good forms of argument, is predicate logic, something to do with predicates. And to understand what I'm talking about, let's consider the sentence, Derek Jeter is unmarried. A, a true sentence. And when we look at this sentence from the perspective of grammar, we say that the sentence is it's a declarative sentence in English and it's made up of two parts. Derek Jeter is the subject and is married is the predicate. Take a sentence, for example, all bachelors are unmarried. The subject is all bachelors, including Derek Jeter, at least at this point when I'm making the recording, are unmarried. Are unmarried is the predicate. Notice that predicates put things into categories. Category of being unmarried, being a bachelor, or look at all bachelors are unmarried. We have a category of being unmarried, even within that category, bachelors, bachelorettes, Derek Jeter would be on the male side, the bachelor. I mean, if anybody's a little bit confused about this, maybe I should have mentioned this up front on this slide, Derek Jeter is unmarried. Uh, when we're talking about, oh, sorry, when we're talking about all bachelors are unmarried, bachelors are just unmarried males. Okay, but now we're understanding what predicates are and what role they play, at least in language, and let's see what they do to our propositions and, and how they make the logic of arguments work. Notice in all of the examples that we just look at, generalizations, or what I'm calling generalizations, are key premises. All bachelors are unmarried. We have a generalization about all bachelors. Most professional basketball players are tall. Another subject predicate, but it's a generalization. It's talking about maybe not every basketball player, but most basketball players. Some politicians are honest. 
again a generalization not quite as strong as either of the them before but we're talking about some politicians no Muslims are Christians generalization that is anybody who's a Muslim is not a Christian happens to vice versa happens to also be true but these are not about a particular individual these generalizations rather they're about a whole class of individuals they say that things that have a certain characteristic a certain property a certain predicate fall into a certain category have another characteristic and that's why we say the logic that involves statements like this or statements like this that are involved in a logical inference are covered by predicate logic sometimes we call the kinds of arguments that we've looked at to this point categorical syllogisms that is they talk about categories look at the first one all bachelors are unmarried they're talking about the category of bachelors the category of unmarried most professional basketball players say most people in the cat that category are tall some politicians a few at least a few of the people who are in the at least one of the people who are in the politicians category are honest that is are in the category of being honest and no Muslims are Christian nobody who's in the category of being Muslim is in is a Christian 